Hello and hey, Tim Resident on Golf with your friends. This time going to be the Space Station 2020 updated for the official release 1.114, all that fun stuff. Sorry this one took a little bit of time to get out to you guys, especially I feel like I let you down a little bit because I don't have that many more shots that weren't already in the original video I did for this course when it came out like eight months ago or however long, probably longer ago at this point. So without further ado, I guess we'll just get right into these shots. Hole number one, I like to go full power directly at the hole. You can go at almost any time. Obviously when the ramp's all the way up, it's not the best idea, but when it's near flat or anywhere sort of at all, uh, you're able to get down in it for the hole in one. Hole number two, this can be a little bit tricky. Uh, I'm gonna show you this first. This is the spot where you need to aim at. Pretty specific and it's even more specific than I thought because of this bug that just happens to be right here where I'm going towards the hole and just take a left out of nowhere. A little bit unfortunate, I was like, what just happened? Ended up auto-correcting uh, to the, oh, sorry, <clears throat> over-correcting to the right and getting uh, way off the hole. And this is the same exact shot except it doesn't bounce crazy to the left, so watch out for that. It's just kind of specific. Hole number three, full power shot get into the left tube. I like to use the left side of my cursor on sort of that line down there on the ramp tiles. No fuss. Hole in one. Hole number four. This one could be a little bit tricky. There is a line, like a light line, right outside the window of the space station. I get to aim basically right at it and then just a tiny bit to the left and you go about three and four fifths or five, six power. The power isn't that specific, but the point of aim kind of is. Because when we let go, we want to bounce off that corner piece and down into the bowl. Uh, it seems like it's kind of specific, but it's very forgiving on the power. So just play with it a little bit. You'll get it the second time, if not earlier. Hole number five. I like to go just above three power, as you see, and kind of get the left side of my cursor on the corner of the tile that you can see right now. It's a little bit specific because we don't have a bowl to go to, but we release just as the front uh, slammer kind of lifts up off the ground and just play with the timing a little bit, play with the shot a little bit, you'll get it pretty soon. Hole six, this one could be a little bit tricky. You want to aim basically right here exactly, full power, and then hold jump as soon as you can. Sometimes you'll get like a monster bounce off of that piece and you'll go flying out through the bowl. Uh, majority of times you're safe, but sometimes it just doesn't work anymore because of the way uh, the ground kind of interacts with the ball, especially on the first shot. Hole number seven, want to aim directly right here, which is three tiles forward and four to the left. And that's kind of where the, the fun great holes end and we start getting into a little bit more tedium uh, most of the rest of the way. So with hole number eight, I tried to get to a, a two, but we're just going to go for the three here. We're going to start with a full power shot, just sort of straight forward. It's not too specific where you need to aim, but if you go too far to the left or right, you will bounce out of the course. That's the spot we would be trying to shoot for if we we're going for the two. Unfortunately, it's not really there. So for the second shot, we're going to aim left of the seam on this wall. Again, in full power. And we do that so we can kind of get mostly centered uh, for this last third shot. And we want to go just about two and two quarters power just as the front piston is about to retract. We want to just get right in front of it so we don't get launched by the last piston uh, going forward. So that could be a little bit tricky and it kind of sucks to play for like a three or a four on that hole, but it is what it is. Hole nine, there's plenty of different ways we can go here. I will show different levels to this because as that jet right here shows, if you hit it perfectly at the right exact time, you can get up onto that platform and even down for a hole in one. But the ceiling's pretty short, so the timing is ultra specific and all that fun stuff. But I will show you how to get a either a two or a three uh, starting off. And I'll show you something else after. We're going to go just under two and a half power, kind of aiming at this line when both of the jets are on. And that'll kind of throw us right to the front of this tube. Or if you can aim a little bit better than I did there, uh, you can just go ahead and get in for an actual two. But the full power strat off this wheel, we're going to just go. We're going to play for par. I know a lot of people are going for par achievements, so let's make one of the harder holes. Uh, much easier. And on the second shot, we'll go just about two and a half power. A little bit under, a little bit over, it's fine. You just obviously want to clear that ramp and still have a view of this tube. You don't want to go quite full power. 
because you can actually get built up enough speed to bounce through it. Uh, and you probably would come back, but just to be safe, why risk it? So that's where we're going to stay with that. So you can kind of go for the crazy one, the much more manageable two or three, or the very, very safe four. Hole number 10, not a whole lot of safe options here. You're kind of restricted to going about three power when the opening is sort of straight ahead of you. And you'll kind of fall down here. I get a weird kick that I've never really gotten before. It kind of launched me further back here. So my honest recommendation is to just throw the ball over there and kind of just hope for the three. Uh, I do have a setup for a shot that falls on the left side of this hump, but because I'm not there uh, and I don't want to show you guys seven different shots for like the seven different outcomes you can have coming out of that tube, uh, we're just going to show it like there. But just to kind of reference the one that I am talking about before I put this away at like, you know, less than half power. Uh, if you end up on the far side, you can aim at the crease on the wall down there at about the same power that I was shooting at before. So as we do knock that shot in, it's still a three, it's still a birdie. Gonna put you right on track for those par achievements, but still, just wish we had something a little bit nicer than hole 10 like that. Hole number 11, I like to use the left part of the cursor on the opaque light blue section. That's kind of the best way I can describe it. It's a... Uh pretty simple. Uh, if you don't shoot right there, you're not going to end up obviously in the right spot. So even if you do miss, I would still recommend trying to get to a position that's like this that gives you a shot at the opening in the wall here because it will auto put you in the bowl. I've not had it miss yet, although I have come out of that tube really slow a couple of different times and almost not made it. So look out for that, of course, but uh, not a reason to worry. Hole number 12, we want to wait for the tube to be on its way back up, like as soon as it starts going back up at just over three and a half power. So like right now, it'll hit the, the ramp and give us all the way over here. We want to be as far over as we can be. And there's a two, two different options you can give yourself. You can either go kind of strong and try to come back directly at the hole or a little bit weaker, trying to land just, just barely on top of that platform and kind of roll, trickle back into the bowl. I'm going to go a little bit strong and aim directly for the hole um, on the bounce back, obviously not directly at the hole or else we wouldn't make it. You need to account for the amount of distance it's going to cover it is possible to go too hard and i might have gone too hard there and gone out of the bowl if i wouldn't have hit the cup but play with it as a bit as a bit and you'll get it soon enough this hole we want to wait for the black hole to be on its way up almost reaching the center when we release and that at full power is sort of able to get us into this black hole and can throw a hole in one but because this is just we're going to be going for a two here we want to wait for this to get out of the way and we need to aim again to get off the cup in a matter of one bounce. That's again something you can play with. I wouldn't expect less than like a three as long as you can hit that first shot. With The timing can be a little bit tricky, but if you play with it enough, it, it happens pretty quickly. Hole 14 to kind of give you a safe two. To start off, you kind of want to go just right of that pillar that you see me aiming just right of at this power. And it's just, you know, real safe, real simple. Um, it's still easy to mess up. I'm not trying to say it's the easiest shot in the world, but if you want to go for the hole in one, you have to take power off of it and aim a little bit <laughs> left of where it is. And that's a very aggressive shot, but if you don't go in the cup, you will fall off the hole. So that's why I showed the two different versions of that shot. Hole 15, uh, this can be kind of tricky again. I like to aim right here. It is kind of specific. It's not pixel perfect, but it's kind of specific. So get, take a good look at it. Sorry, stumbling all over my word. You'll end up in slightly different positions here, and you have a couple of different options that you can roll with, either uh, you can kind of, excuse me, aim towards this box at full power and you have a decent chance to get up on the ledge. Or if you were to get more to the left, you could shoot up towards that other black hole to try to get on top. But for the safest shot that we have, I'm going to go ahead and just go one power directly into the middle of the gap. This is probably the most replicatable thing. A two is 100% possible here. I just want to show very safe strategy. Go full power at the bottom of the box, trying to aim at the, where the flat part and the box are still. And that'll get us up here. But let's say that it didn't work out. Uh, some shot got mixed up. We'll talk about a little bit of this stuff just because we're playing for the par anyway. If you were down here, you can go for like two and three quarters type power. And if you're like level with that box, then it would be like three power. And if you were even further away, it'd be like three and a quarter power. And that's all safe. Like you're not necessarily going to go in the hole off that, but just kind of wanted to show this sort of thing. So I'm going to aim too far to the right and give it a little bit too less power. And we'll just get up here and it'll be fine. Again, one of those holes that probably is most helpful for the par lookers.
Hole 16, uh, gonna go ahead and show you guys a couple different things. You go to the right here and there's more jumps or you can go to the left where I will show you with that line in the wall and kind of, uh, there's only a couple jumps but they're a little bit trickier. This looks like I'm gonna be a little bit too far to the left so that's gonna be a little bit awkward but I did wanna show it because I've never seen anything like this happen in this game before. That's a little bit different. I thought I was being safe by going a little bit left of the line, obviously not the case. However, uh, we will go ahead and reset and shoot basically directly at the line. I like to be just a touch left of it, just to be sure we're not going to hit anything. And bouncing off that corner is even better because it'll put us in a good position. We need to jump twice, get up there, we need to jump basically twice again. I jumped at accidental time and able to get over there. Again, another two jumps. Those jumps are a little bit trickier than going to the right, uh, however, with how jumping kind of is with the new physics, uh, there's a little bit of water irregularity, for lack of a better term. So this is just kind of your choice. Hole 17, there's a bunch of different stuff going on here. It's my least favorite hole, maybe in the game, but we want to wait till the ramp is going to be basically flush with this platform when we let go. You have that power, you can play with it. Uh, it's possible to get into the hole down there in two and if that's if you end up in this position you could shoot over here if you wanted to this is just like an option for you or you can end up here just by default if that platform wasn't in the way i would have made it so i should have looked for timing there but if you also want to go for this where you get over here again we're going to wait for the platform to be sort of sorry the ramp to be flush with the platform when we let go you end up in a spot like uh this instead you could go again over there but you could also go over here and i'm not going to like line it up you just want to go just about three power maybe just a touch under and we're not going to get there or we could just play the course how it's meant to be played full power full power and of course full power but it'll be one tile in from the left at the top of the ramp that'll kind of suck us down over the top safely and from here you could again go try to shoot across with the crazy angle or go for this one just about three power kind of making it into this hole I just want to show off every possibility for these kind of tough, tedious holes. So stay with me and uh, pardon me if you didn't want to see all of this, but thank you for sticking around. And from this shot, we're going to just aim just to the center of the tube there, just above two power because we want to get sucked in, obviously. And then that will put us down and into the hole for either a two, four or five on a par six. So. Even if you mess up, if you want to just knock it over to the spot you see me kind of shooting from, it's, it's perfectly fine. It's just a tough, tough hole. And then a hole 18 used to mess around with that tube, but no longer. Uh, I like to bounce off of this glass tube in the center down there, uh, but my shot can be a little bit specific. So you want to go just over three power, kind of aiming at sort of the right side of the tube here. Not like directly at the right side, but we want it for the platform to be on its way up. That way, we, if we do bounce off of it, it'll just kick us back right here. And then for the shot here, we want to go full power. Now obviously, kick, kick yourself over here if you didn't quite end up in the same spot I did. But we want to bounce either off that ramp, which is suboptimal, or on the flat part before that ramp, which is optimal. Because you see there, the speed, I almost didn't have enough to get down for two. But if you do hit off of the flat part, you will go at a much uh, less steep angle on the upward trajectory. And you'll just launch forward and have more than enough speed to make it into the bowl. That's a lot of words. A lot of things. And this was a long guide because I wanted to include a lot of different stuff. Again, sorry that I couldn't find, like, these, like, uh, new hole-in-one sort of situations. It just doesn't seem to be there on this course. Like I said, it's not my favorite one, but that's okay. I'm sure some people uh, like it as their favorite course and that sort of thing. So, without further ado, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be safe, guys.